I run a business, artofericjames.com. I do commercial photography and video production. We use the drone a lot. You know, it's a basically a, a very inexpensive aerial perspective. You know, it, anytime the government gets involved in stuff, it's, it's kind of like, you know, it, it's raining on your parade, but uh, it's gonna eliminate a lot of yahoos, basically. Uh, there's a lot of people out there doing stupid stuff with drones. They look like a toy, but they're really, they have the potential of being quite dangerous. For a cinematographer, they're a great tool. For, you know, the average guy, uh, you know, doing silly stuff with them, they can be uh, a nuisance. So there's already, you know, massive limitations. You can't fly within two miles of an active airport. You, you can't fly the things in national forests. Um, you got to stay below 400 feet. There's a box that they keep them in, and for good reason. You don't, you don't want one of these things colliding with an aircraft and causing a, you know, uh, any fatalities. I don't see it being um, that limiting. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, when you look at it from an um, investment viewpoint, there's a lot of money tied up in there. Uh, so you always have to be real careful of what you do to it and where you place it so that it's not you know, in jeopardy. Um, you don't want to lose that investment. People that are going out and doing stupid stuff and risking them, you know, they got more money than I do.